join now your heart and mind to the hearts and minds of our congregation as we join together in a spirit of prayer. We thank you, O God, that our weekly worship is a reminder of your resurrection and of the new life that you give us in Jesus Christ. We thank you for your steadfast love and your mercies that are new every morning, for we rely on them even more than we know. Good and merciful God, we hold up to you those in our congregation who are working in hospitals and nursing homes and those who are working in essential services for our communities. We pray that you will supply them with energy when they need it and rest when they need rest. We pray that you would help them to use their gifts with wisdom. And we thank you for their commitment to supporting life, the life of the body, and the life of the community. We remember this morning those people who woke up to yet another day of little or nothing to eat, who have lost their jobs in this past week, or who have needs during this public health emergency but can't get help. We pray also for those parents and guardians who now have kids at home and whether or not they have to go to work or stay home, the challenge of keeping kids learning when kids' realities are scary is full of stress. We pray that you will guide government officials. We pray that you will guide scientists doing research. We pray that you will be with those who are especially vulnerable to this virus. And Lord, in these moments of quiet, we hold up the prayers that are in our hearts, whether they have words or not. Eternal God, our beginning and our end, be our starting point and our haven, and accompany us in this day's journey. Use our hands to do the work of your creation, and use our lives to bring others the new life that you give this world. Joining with your church around the world, O Lord, we pray the prayer that you taught your first disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> 